Put your children to bed. Kids don't need to hear what's about to happen. Hot crack has returned. <laughs> HBK, the lady lover, the king of pleasure. It's the most hated Ock baby. Oh, oh, please say the baby. You tuned in to Pie Crack. 8 Bit Paul, aka 5 The Fresh. Pie Crack in this bitch. Yo, it's your boy Matt. The Mad Titan. We the birds with attitude. And this is the party, dude. Barely. Anybody else I talk to about this shit, they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's why Pie Crack must exist. Pie Crack. Real raw and unmotherfucking cut. That's total certified crack. That means, Matt, you're probably going to have to actually go watch Civil War, man. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> if, if, the, if the famine is coming, man, it's, uh, it's over. Uh, Somebody told me they liked it, man. So who is that person? <laughs> Call them to the carpet right now. I can't remember who it was. Bring them into the chat right now, my nigga. Don't be scared, my nigga. Don't be scared. Somebody said they watched it said that they liked it. Nigga, tell them their fucking eyeballs have been revoked, man. <laughs> Tell them they fucking eyeballs have been fucking the, the time. Is I gone. would, I would, but then they would call us hypocrites because one of us, I won't say who, actually enjoyed the remake, the fucking Roadhouse. So, uh, you know, what I mean? let that's, he that's, who, no, let no, he no, who no. hates trash the most throw the No, no, me. listen, that's different. That's different, and I'll tell you why, man. When, uh, when fucking listening to music on the fucking internet became the greatest thing since sliced bread why they get everything was inoffensive i feel the same way about streaming man if i when i had to buy a cd my nigga oh no nigga, we, this shit better be good my nigga. if i have to go out to the movies which i did last night to go watch civil war my nigga you better give me something they gave me nothing that shit was horrendous Oh, you actually seen it? Oh, I I actually seen it, brother. Oh, okay. I went, I went to the movies. I bought the ticket, brother. Yeah. Nigga, you was hook, line, and sinker like that? Nigga? Uh, the, the, my nigga, listen. So the, you getting the, fucking advertisement for retirement and Civil War, apparently, nigga. No, I saw that first trailer. And not a trailer after, man. On, on Trailer Club, man. I saw that I'm first trailer that. weeks, uh, months ago. And I said, oh, shit, nigga, the, the, the world is at war, my nigga. The country <laughs> is fucking in the balance, my nigga. Yes, give it, <laughs> inject it in my veins. My nigga, little, little did I know this was the fucking intimate story of two reporters, my nigga, driving in a car, talking about fucking whether the fucking, the currency, <laughs> the, the exchange rates on currency and shit. There was a bait and switch, my nigga. My nigga, it was all it was all switch, my nigga. No bait. Who was it that said we're going to have to start uh, putting a fucking <laughs> uh fucking memorandum on uh fucking war, movies with war in the title and shit? Was that Paul? Nigga? I don't I don't remember. I don't remember. moratorium is the word I was looking yeah. for. But um, yeah. Basically, all the movies with the word war in it don't really be wars and shit. Don't, don't be war in the slightest. Yeah, and that none was none was greater than fucking Civil War itself. Well, maybe this, they mentioned, literally, it was a civil war and shit. You see what I'm saying? This and and, c- civility at all costs. At the cost of lo- innocent lives. <laughs> there's got to be a new category for mm-hmm. low-budget movies with a fire premise that due to budgetary constraints can't begin to depict what they're what they're alluding to so they focus on like two people uh i know exactly what you're talking about yeah like the first time i ever saw it was the first purge Oh yeah, they, they did it. They did exactly what they were like. Like all mm-hmm. you described, this world where looting and robbing and raping mm-hmm. and whatever is going on, and these people are locked in a house. Yeah, beautiful Some example. Beautiful, but this right here, they don't like. They're traveling. They say they're traveling from New York to DC, which is supposed to be like five hundred miles or some shit. Which I don't. I don't know if that's the case, but maybe it is. I don't know. 
So all they're doing, it's two reporters, well, three reporters, and then this tag along in a car traveling through the rural areas in between New York and D.C. While the uh, Texas and California clicked up to overthrow the government. Texas and California. Texas and California. Why do you know it's Texas? Because they have guns. Why do you know it's California? Because the other people with guns have on fucking funky men with nail polish and fucking... Oh, come on. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) And fucking pink hair and shit. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. They don't tell you why they're trying to overthrow the government. They don't tell you what the cause of all this is. They don't tell you nothing. It's mm-hmm. you're just traveling through little rural towns and shit where one where they encounter one to two people at a time. Oh man, you, you don't know what's going on out there? Oh, we just try to stay out of that. Oh, oh man. Seriously? Yes. Oh, we'd like to buy gas. For how much? Three hundred. 300 to get you a sandwich around here. 300 Canadian. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are actual lines from the movie, Matt. Um, okay, I've, I've got the questions. When is this supposed to take place? No fucking clue. Once again, there's no context. It's like somebody was like, hey, you remember January 6th, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And go. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Like, Why is the currency in Canada? And go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like at one point when they pull up to this gas station, there are men. I, you think they're hanged in like the you know how fucking gas stations will have a little shitty car wash thing in it, like mm-hmm. it's. A micro car wash, you know what I'm saying, that nobody fucking uses at gas station. And it's three guys hung in that fucking thing. And you think they're hung by their necks, but they're really just strung up by their hands, but they're bleeding shit. And the guy, one of the guys that works at the gas station, walks over there like an AR-15 and says, yeah, it's amazing what this, this conflict is doing to people. I used to go to high school with that guy. He didn't talk to me much. Now all he wants to do is talk now. I think I'm going to kill him. <laughs> okay. Nobody. So. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's yeah. just. Okay. So in this civil war, it's not really like an actual civil war as opposed to the, like, it's just like a zombie apocalypse thing. Because that, what, what you just said is not like a civil war where there's like a union versus like a confederacy and people like are in a uh, military constructions fighting and like there's civilians but like there's also a structured world they're living in there's not just like some guy strung up (laughs) like that's weird zombie apocalypse nonsense it was nothing they were driving through rural areas they were trying to get to to washington dc to interview the president of the the united states and but the whole movie was just hey we got to stop and get gas hey we got to stop and get some food hey we got to stop and take a piss hey let's stop and go to this clothing store oh, hey God. let's uh yeah <laughs> hey the there's our friend trip. yeah there's our friend driving fast down the highway let's jump from one car to the other the fast and furious step? yes <laughs> okay that seems really weird out of place yes <laughs> okay <laughs> yes and that was the movie they didn't. They never explained to you why the 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 uh, 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 Texas and California had succeeded from the union. They never explained to. They mentioned that Florida and one of the Carolinas were trying to form their own union, but it was unsuccessful. They never explained to you who was the leader of the opposition. They never give you any other of these contact clues. They just, hey man, let this dress is that dress looks nice on you. I haven't worn a dress in in fifteen years. Hey, this town, they act like the Civil War isn't happening. Oh, look at the rooftop. There's somebody standing on the rooftop with a gun. Don't look. Don't look. But they're standing. It's you almost thought it was regular life. I know. (laughs) All right. I I, I have to I have to jump in because 
I didn't see the movie, man. But I, I got problems, right? I got two major problems. Please. And it's this whole fantasy of uh, this civil war that everybody's talking about, right? Like, so the first problem I have is, I don't know if you guys know this, but the Keys, the Florida Keys, mm -hmm. uh, seceded from the Union for a day. They became the Conch Republic. Mm -hmm. uh, Florida cut off their water and power, and then they immediately ran back. <laughs> It was uh, 24 hours or maybe less, like 16 hours or something, right? And uh, these people, like, that are, like, online warriors talking about, oh, well, you know, well, these darkies, like, get more rights than I'm a tip of gun. <laughs> the reality is that they're fat, gunted, stupid potato people. And there's not going to be a war. <laughs> like, they're all out of shape. I know, like, online, they'll just send memes with their gigatads and, like, this and that. Civil War comes, I'm going to grab my guns and be ready. But the reality is that they're not all these, like, like sharp militants here. They're a bunch of fat, gunted, disgusting, cousin-loving, like, hillbilly, like, uh, fruit lickers that don't understand anything, right? So, like, that's the reality of the scenario. They're not, like, these opposing people by any stretch of the imagination. And if there was a Civil War, it would be much like um, January where... It's squashed. Like, <laughs> it's not gonna be they just, they yeah. just start burning shit and fucking <laughs> shooting their guns in the air. I mean, yes. There's yeah. gonna be some hanging. I'll tell you that shit right now. <laughs> I got one better for you. The Black Panthers, right? Whatever your political leanings are, whatever you feel about the Black Panthers, whatever the fuck, I don't give a fuck, right? But they were organized. When you organize, you got some guns hit out somewhere. The Hugh and Pete Newton said, um, but no, they were organized. They were ready for when the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? When the revolution comes, they was ready. They knew that shit wasn't going to be televised, nigga. They said they was ready, right? They was in lockstep, nigga. Everybody dressed in black with berets on, motherfucking shotties to your body, nigga. Pure uncut to your gut. And guess what? America got them the fuck out of here. <laughs> yes, America got them the fuck out of here, man. America said, oh, are y'all even planning something, my nigga? Are you even planning something? Are you planning something that opposes the fucking plan, my nigga? Allow us to properly and efficiently and effectively Get you all the, pack you the fuck out, nigga. Come on, man. We, like, this, <laughs> shit is laughable. It is a laughable concept, man. Because if America even sniffs, my nigga, if they sniff that you trying to, you know what I'm saying, secede or live on your own or live as a separatist, my nigga, they will, they will shut that shit down, quite down, nigga. Bite down. Goodbye, nigga. Sayonara. Que sara, sara. It's over. I'm just, I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Mm. Powerful. So, can I just say that you know I frequent the right wing section yes. of YouTube. Yes. That absolutely despises everything Hollywood does. Yes. Their greatest fear. Th this fucking movie, man. They're just going to fucking sow more seeds of dissension. They're just fucking going about the fucking uh, the fucking culture war, right? And they're trying to divide people. And then when I watched the trailer, I was like, it says California and Texas are on the same side. Mm -hmm. So how are that? How is that dividing people? So I was like, is this movie a red herring? It's really about how much we have in common and all that kind of shit. Like, what's this movie really about? It turns out it's about absolutely nothing, huh? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And the budget is $50 million. And there's not a lot. Us, you, Whatever they're trying to pull off here, you can't do with $50 million. That nigga put $30 million in his pocket. <laughs> 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 we're going to make a movie for $20 million, guys. Let's go. <laughs> no, that trick, nigga. Niggas made up that trick. Was this movie a victim of the writer's strike? I, it, it's either... Like, it has to be, right? Because it feels like, in many ways, it feels like a fucking, um, it feels like a, a COVID movie, almost. Mm -hmm. In the way that there aren't people in the movie, for real. 
Oh. Like the whole movie follows Kirsten Dunst, who looks all of 109 years old. And uh, probably Whoopi, sir, so <laughs> he's probably 24 now. <laughs> and my man who uh played uh Escobar in Narcos. Okay. And they're in the movie and they're they want to interview the president. They want that that's their whole thing. They want to interview the president. And yeah. Okay, so I guess like um uh, they have to drive there since there's no flights and they don't have any internet, I'm assuming, for some yes. weird reason. What what exactly is the stakes of the movie since they're not really following the Civil War and they're just following these like people trying to interview the president? What exactly is the stakes? Like they're like I don't understand what what we're there to see, I guess. Um those two states want to take over the United States. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, how was this skewed? Was this, is this like a Republican or Democratic movie? Couldn't tell you. Satire? Couldn't tell you. Oh my god! Oh my god! This sounds awful. This sounds awful. You're saying it's not the new version of uh, the thing where they sound the alarm and kill everybody. The uh, you talking about the uh, purge? Yeah, the purge. Yes, it wanted to be the purge, um, but it failed horribly, man. <laughs> actually. <laughs> Actually, you know what, man, and I got I got strong opinions about the purge, man, because I was just telling Matt that the first one was on a low budget. So instead of being able to show you all the crime that's being committed and shit, they just explain yeah. it to you. But they exactly. did a good job. You know what I'm saying? They did such a good job in explaining it to you. You was like, oh shit. And so I felt like, and y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. That by the time the actual purge two and three and four and whatever came out and they showed you everything, like my imagination had exceeded what they actually showed me. Mm. I didn't yeah. like the subsequent purges as much as I liked the first one. The, man, the, the problem with the purges to me um, is that they 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 couldn't go like darker than like rated r like they couldn't get like nc-17 like yeah. horrible yeah they, they couldn't get there so it was still very mild mild violence here you know it's kind of like okay <laughs> hinted at violence there it's like okay yeah it just didn't really for a movie like that man it had to have been excessive it had to have been like almost borderline sat robocop satire to, uh, yeah, for it to yeah. work and they yeah. just took it mm. too serious for me like and that's what kind of killed it so yeah it's like what? Go ahead. What about the purge? I forgot what number it is, but the one where they kind of went in the hood, like they tried to take it back to the basic, oh, basic the, first the, purge. Uh, the first purge. I forgot all about that movie. Oh yeah, I I dropped off after uh, Clinton versus Hillary. <laughs> it, was, it was Clinton versus um, a Trump is, is when I dropped off because like it was it was just like a political <laughs> nightmare, and I, I and that was when I stopped. So. <laughs> I mean, I even watched the Forever Purge, though, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I was, uh, they had me. I, I didn't, I never watched the Purge TV show, though. That's where I drew my line, man. There's a TV show. There was yeah. a TV show. Yes. I tried to watch it, but I couldn't get past episode it, three. It was uh, on USA. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Everything I said times 10. USA isn't gonna show anything. What? <laughs> oh uh, my God. What, there's what definitely. Gonna, a what lot of talk. There was a, was it an anthology? There was a lot of talk. It was, it, was, uh, it was two seasons at, at that, though. It was two seasons. The first season kind of focused on this church group going to somewhere, and then they, <laughs> you know, I guess the purge happens. <laughs> the roundabout story was that there was like, this couple that was on the verge of becoming rich and famous, and then they went to a party and then, oh no, it's the purge. What do we do? <laughs> so, I to... Sneak up on them? Is it the purge well, of Jaws? Did it just catch them off? No. That is, <laughs> can I say that that's the part I hate most about the purge movies? Is the people that get stuck out in the purge? 
Wait, wait a second. Oh, 10, 10 15 minutes. I thought we wait had more second. time. It's not the most single-handed important date like of the entire year. But uh geez, like some outside. Oh my god. <laughs> So, like, the real enemy is t- time management, I guess. Yeah, right? that's the time real enemy. Time, time management. management. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, Matt. Yeah. Let me, let, let me have an ISO on Matt real quick. Let me have a spotlight on Matt. Let, <laughs> let Matt. Let Matt get funky real quick. This movie was written and directed by Alex Garland, the writer and director of such Matt favorites as. Ex Machina and Annihilation. Oh man! <laughs> oh. God, I might have to see it now. <laughs> it's ah. it's the trash law, Matt. You have to see it, man. You have to see it, man. <laughs> God, you know, oh. ah, man. Like I'm just thinking about like Annihilation all over again. Just oh, man, that was a that was a hard watch. Man. One of your favorites, man. God, that 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 year got the double whammy is Annihilation and the Arrival, man. Like the, yes. the, the, the double whammy. <laughs> like Oh, he also made men where men were the enemy. That was the I remember that movie. I don't remember that movie. Men? Men were men where the woman was being terrorized by men because they were men. Um I don't remember that movie. I, I that sounds like an episode of the Twilight Zone I saw. I remember I remember the trailer. I remember her looking out the window and there just been men standing outside. Bro, what, on, I, no, I need to see this movie. What? Wait, hold on, man. Listen, I will hey man, we can do a trailer review, man. Well, <laughs> yo, yo, we might have to do that right right oh, now. Hold no, on, man. Let me get you. Let me get you. Gentlemen, I this is a, a revolutionary time, man. Let's let's go ahead and do it, man. Oh God! I feel like I put this this trailer in the group before, and it, I, it was I, laughably bad. Yeah, sit in my way. I have to see that. Like, with, with this under his belt too, is this guy like just a meme lord? Is he just doing? <laughs> is he literally just doing internet memes dude, at this point? This is hey man. He's getting trying to get rises out of people, man. Uh, uh, Ock, let's get in on this, man. Get in on this, man. Green up, brother. I have Do you want me to click on it myself or y'all yes. playing it in the chat? Yes, let's start at zero. Let's start at that young saddle. All right, hold on. I got a trailer. Trailer you know for what? a better movie. For the trailer for the worst movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, go ahead. At zero, in five, four, three, two, one, go. Blue car. Looks like a hybrid. Funny haircut on both these niggas. <laughs> Mutually funny haircut. Yeah. Mistaken identity. Black man falling out a window. <laughs> it's raining, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> British teeth. Oh, for British sure. Teeth. British teeth. <laughs> Unseasoned food. British teeth. Check. <laughs> the director of Ex Machina and Annihilation. Uh oh. It's man the far trip. away in the distance. <laughs> I feel like the trailer Creepy. house that does the A24 movies, man. Like, they have the easiest job ever. <laughs> Take this two hours of crap and make it look good. Got you. <laughs> Dude, I, I actually think I possibly have seen this before. My brain deleted it from history. Reasonable question. <laughs> he saw you twice? Is that what you're upset about? <laughs> Mask of a face on someone's face? Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, shit. Awful. Woo. Yes. Yes. Uh, I had to kill him, officer. I saw him twice. Huh? I had to kill this man. 
<laughs> I was threatened. You, you think that they actually had a different working title for the longest, and then somebody in HR decided <laughs> to do a little swap a Rooney at the end? Because, like, I mean, it, it, like, what you said, what you described me, like, you know, and the title, I, I was expecting it to be, like, almost SNL levels of, like, men, you know, she's going to walk in a bar and be like, a woman! Ooh, <laughs> Gross! You know, like, I expected out of that, but... It's just like bland British people horror movie, like uh, a dime a dozen. <laughs> it's fucking, it's it's terrible, it's terrible, and this is the man we we let make a fucking movie called Civil War, buddy. It's it's uh, whoo! Can't wait to see on online, you know, all the people talking about Civil War. Like, what side are you guys on? He's- <laughs> Morbidly obese, like four hundred pound land whales. Is like if, it, if it happened tomorrow, I would have got my gun today. That's yeah. me. That's me. Man. <laughs> I, I, like I'm telling you, the first people I see, dude, that's nah, me. It's like, oh my god. Same yeah, people man. that you see on those viral videos that are just yelling at McDonald's boys <laughs> for their nuggies being wrong, and like these people <laughs> have a weird online fantasy man you know we have to go like deep web or whatever you just like look at the page two on like whatever google images and you'll see these people with their like memes like if civil war happens tomorrow i'm sorry sleepy body but i'm taking (laughs) over (laughs) meanwhile he has no neck (laughs) absolutely no neck (laughs) complete neck beard like just uh, 400 pounds dude (sighs) Just like we'll have to secure the Aryan race. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Gonna have to do like a dumpster dive and go through that the comment section oh. and like on the website tonight for this movie. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yes, to answer all of your questions, man, the movie was bad. It, I mean, it literally was like, hey, you heard of January six? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, here's the movie. Wait, uh, what? 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 What now? What movie? What are you? <laughs> yeah, here's, yeah, here's the movie, man. I I don't understand. So this is like Trump. No, no, no. Here's the movie. Yeah, like so you're basing the whole movie on this? Well, yeah, I went online and like uh, apparently like <laughs> this could, this could really happen. No, what are you talking about? This could really happen. Nah, dude. Like, there's online warriors that are just, like, ready and just, just waiting for something to drop. They're just waiting for a civil war to happen. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, oh, I'm pretty man. sure that they're not, like, a trade of militia. Nah, nah, nah. Trust me, I'm on the site called Reddit, and apparently they are. They all have beautiful ten women, and they all live in Canada, and they all have guns, and they're cuts, and they have cat kids, and they're ripped in shreds. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Square jaw lines, as far as I can see. Fucking yeah, man! Oh my god! Yes, yes. That's... You know we need to make like a short while the iron's hot and like whatever current meme is or whatever <laughs> like political thing is going on. We just need to just as soon as the iron's hot, make a short film <laughs> and throw it out there. The wave of nothing's coming, so that's what we need to do. And that's it, man. Now is the time, man. I tried to tell you, honey. I say write the first paragraph, send it over here, and y'all ain't want to listen, man. Hey, all, man. We, all hey. we gotta do. Mm-hmm. The time is coming. He told you the time is coming, man. Yeah, the time is high, do, nigga. All we gotta do is take a hot button issue, nigga. Huh? <laughs> and then don't speak on that issue directly at all. Nigga. Treat it like a Drake and J. Cole beef and shit, nigga. Just, <laughs> just fucking <laughs> allude to it heavily, <laughs> man. There's a group of vampires, right? Mm-hmm. That only get mad when you say that there's a group of vampires. <laughs> right? They control everything, right? Mm. And what they're trying to do, what they're trying to do is take over countries, right? Mm-hmm. That that they were never in, but then they'll <laughs> they'll say we were here the whole time, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then and then when the people who live in that country say, hey, I think you you vampires should leave and shit. They go to civil war, nigga. Right? Mm-hmm. You know that's that's too clever, man. We got to go like bottom of the barrel, like OJ returns, like we'll call like <laughs> Beast of the Bell, and he's coming back, and he's just like give, give the people what they want. So we immediately he starts confessing, "I'm back from hell." We like, no, I, no, I no, no. we can never we can never show OJ though. We just <laughs> stab victims, right? 
<laughs> white Bronco. <laughs> yeah, white, white Broncos just panning out through the frame. Right? You know <laughs> and then you walk by, stab victims, right? But in all in all, really, it's more of a story about just these this man and this woman that's in love. You know what I mean? <laughs> Trying to live in this in this world of OJs that have returned and shit. You know what I mean? It's and he's not on even, the list. It's not even a killer slasher story. Like, like really, the, the scares <laughs> come from knowing that something could happen. Right? And one, and one, <laughs> one of these scenes, something actually could happen. Right? Exactly. Honey, did you buy an extra small glove? <laughs> I don't remember getting this at work. It's, if it's A24, then it's, it cuts like a, a card to order juice. Hop, hop, hop. It just like <laughs> slowly zooms in on OJ. Huh, Nicole? Where, Nicole, where can you hear me? <laughs> where is this? Why is there a knife on the counter? It's a big ass knife on the counter. I don't know, honey. Why is Gangster Paradise slowed down and chopped his crew, dude? Being stung by four-year-old white children, man. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing. my life. Oh, God. Oh. Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sign me up. Sign me up. Listen, man. That's the it. The scariest part of the movie is just OJ in the corner with his eyes open, smiling real hard. And shit. <laughs> Honey. <not> black emoji. <laughs> Honey, why is there a cup of orange juice on the counter? Just a cup of orange juice on the counter. Babe, yeah. you, did you ever? I, you didn't go to the store. No, babe. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't go to the store. Hmm. Oh shit! You know I like milk with my breakfast. Not, not what is this? <laughs> oh man, yeah. A twenty four is fleecing the nation. I just, oh man, <sighs> gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Pie crack, right? Real guys talking that real shit. New episodes weekly. Rate. Comment and subscribe.